What is going on, YouTubers? This is such getting back into the seriously punishing the Forest Hunters Covenant. Now, some people say, why do you have to gank in the most obvious spot for PvP? My reasons are simple because this is where I've gotten just gotten gotten shafted over and over and over. I don't know how many times people one up me. So it's my time to give it back. And especially with uh, my ongoing rage against modders in this game. It seems anybody that would deem themselves pro automatically edits save files and can make builds on the whim and make max all their weapons out. And I just have, a pro I'll, I'll just always have a problem with that. Maxing all your stuff out at level 25 or 50. For crying out loud, people, keep it above. If you got cheat, keep it above 150. Let's make it a rule. Do you have to really go after the noobs? I don't know. I bring people into the game and make new characters and help them out. And I'm just, just, it just amazes me how, how many low level invaders will have like top gear, like top gear. So anytime I can go out of my way to stick it to invaders, I will. I don't know what it is, I just, I'm the guy who can't, I won't invade. I'd rather punish you for invading other players. Getting some help from one of my friends here. Or new friends, I should say. Emo girl. Yeah, anyone watch this video, hit uh, hit me up. Please subscribe. I need some subscribers for crying out loud. I'm new, but I'm trying to build uh, build up a little bit of a fan base of some solid uh, players on Dark Souls that don't have to pull any crazy stunts or use like they're good and they don't have to cheat to prove they're very good. I do see a lot of people refer to the some of the badass builds as the try hard builds, and I can uh, I can see it completely. It's it's how people use speed to dominate in this game. It's really all about speed. How fast you can put your move sets out and be ready for the other guys. Because it, it, it's really challenging being um, by yourself to fight two people. Um, in most situations I encounter where I'm I'm at a disadvantage, if I, I if I can't take the one one guy out really quickly, then it just becomes a backstab, uh, just a backstab free for all. And but here's the thing that you know if 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 it's two on one and you're against and I'm fighting you. And one guy has to pop a sunlight blade, and the other guy pops crystal blade. I mean, and then people are like, well, I don't understand why you have to go after invaders. Why you have to gank, too. I'm, I'm just, I'm just reversing, you know. I'm doing it my way. I don't have to use all the cheap spells and maxed out weapons to, to win. to vanquish some invaders.
my hat's off to emo girl here. He or she was doing a lot better than I thought they'd do. Oh man, see, that's... I can, I'll have a few people saying I'm cheap for using the fog ring. I think it, anytime you want to start making rule sets and say I can't use this or that, but yet you're going to modify your stuff to where you have maxed out weapons and armor, to me, I'm not even going to play. I'm not even going to attempt to pan like oh i don't understand why you didn't bow well um maybe because you had sunlight blade on maybe i didn't feel like bound to that i, mean, I didn't feel like bound to crystal weapon so yeah I, that's my big problem with a lot of the dark souls community is they seem to make builds that are based off of modified saves cheats hacked fi files or whatever and i can't i don't i just i just won't have any respect for it. that's just for some reason in this game i have zero respect for anybody that invades now, if you put your red summon sign down, that's a whole different... To me, that's actually saying something. But half of those people are are cheaters, too. You go into the book and then indict it, and it's just disgusting to see how many of these people that are, like, max stats. 99 this, 99 that. It's... It's... It's, it's like... I don't know. I guess there's some people that they... they can't play and win fairly. They have to go cheat or modify or... I don't know. I'm trying to be more open-minded to people, you know, doing their thing in this game. I mean, if you can mod and you can do it well enough that I can't really tell you are, like like a good buddy I had, that he he just wouldn't see it my way. He always would not understand my point of view in saying I think it's it's ridiculous. I got to do it legitly. I got to put hours and hours and hours and hours in. And you do it in five seconds and somehow I'm a biased person over it because I've played with these people that do this I mean I guess it makes me biased towards invaders expecting like pursuers I could be cheap I could just be so cheap and cast pursuers every time right be like before someone got like before I got invaded I could cast pursuers and just they wouldn't even be able to see him and they would get killed but that's the thing is don't be absolutely cheap about the game then and then use cheap tactics and then call someone else out on it if you're using the cheapest tactics ever then like i don't know it's what it is catch youtubers later